Over her decades in the spotlight, Cher has been famously tight-lipped about her romantic life. Though she's been linked to many high-profile men, the music icon rarely singles out past loves. So fans were stunned recently when Cher confessed one man stands apart in her heart as the love of her life. Join us as Cher gets uncharacteristically candid, revealing the identity of the one who got away. Early Relationships Cher's early relationships laid the groundwork for her love life. Her first marriage was to her musical partner and mentor, Sonny Bono, whom she wed in 1964 shortly after they met. Though their fast friendship quickly sparked into romance, their differences caused issues over time. Cher reportedly felt Bono tried to limit her personal growth and independence. After a decade together, Cher filed for divorce in 1974, citing involuntary servitude. Their split was contentious, with disagreements over finances and custody of their son Chaz, born in 1969. Yet they were able to repair their relationship in later years, evident when Cher delivered an emotional eulogy when Sonny died in a 1998 skiing accident. Just days after finalizing her split from Sonny, Cher tied the knot with Southern rock icon Greg Allman, apparently throwing caution to the wind in her desire to wed the singer-songwriter. Their passion couldn't overcome Allman's issues with substance abuse, however. Nine days into the union, Cher filed for divorce, though the couple later reconciled when Allman entered rehab. They welcomed a son, Elijah, in 1976 and recorded an album together in 77. Ultimately, Allman's addiction proved too disruptive and Cher filed for divorce again in 1979. Though their romantic relationship didn't endure, she cared for Allman deeply. After his death in 2017, she tweeted that he was a kind, loving man and that their parting was immeasurable. In the wake of the two failed music marriages, Cher had fleeting romances with high-profile men like Warren Beatty, record exec David Geffen, and Kiss frontman Gene Simmons. None seemed to measure up to the connections she forged with Sonny Bono and Greg Allman until she crossed paths with Val Kilmer. Their instant rapport marked the start of Cher's most passionate affair yet. Finding Love with Val In the early 80s, Cher attended a birthday party where she was introduced to a young actor named Val Kilmer. Though they didn't click romantically at first, Cher reported that they bonded over their similar humor and outlook. Kilmer soon became a constant platonic presence in her life and home. Over time, their emotional intimacy sparked a fiery passion between the actress, singer, and the up-and-coming film star. By Cher's account, the age gap between her and Kilmer, more than a decade, did not dampen their connection. She confessed Kilmer made her feel excited in ways other men did not, sweeping her up in impulsive adventures and fearless creativity. Having emerged from two failed music marriages, Cher was wary of committing to another relationship. But the thrilling Kilmer apparently broke through her defenses with his talent, intelligence, and tender heart. During their romance, he grew close to Cher's children and encouraged her acting aspirations at a pivotal time. She credited him with bolstering her confidence before her Oscar-winning role in the 1985 film Mask. Behind closed doors, their passion was fiery and dramatic at times, as both were used to being the alpha in relationships. Kilmer was eccentric and unpredictable, while Cher had earned a reputation as strong-willed and outspoken. Ultimately, their heated arguments couldn't withstand the strength of the love between them. For several glorious years, they enjoyed what Cher described as unbelievable times marked by laughter, adventure, and mutual admiration. Still, Kilmer's mercurial nature and Cher's fame eventually graded on their union. As two highly creative spirits, neither was willing to compromise their individuality for the relationship, nor should they have been expected to. Sadly, by the mid-80s, Cher and Kilmer had parted ways romantically. Their electrifying love affair had burned fast and bright, then flickered out all too soon. Yet unlike Cher's past paramours, Kilmer found an enduring place in her heart as one of her deepest emotional connections. Though the physical aspect of their love cooled off, the pair remained incredibly close in the decades beyond the breakup. Their innate friendship, independent of the sexual relationship, laid the foundation for the next phase in their iconic bond. Lasting Bond of Friendship Following the dissolution of their passionate affair, Cher and Val Kilmer managed to cultivate an exceptionally close friendship that endured over four decades. 
Having forged a genuine connection, not hinged solely on their sexual chemistry, they transitioned smoothly into being trusted confidants. This platonic bond weathered Cher's future relationships, Kilmer's battle with cancer, and the test of time. Cher fondly reported that she and Kilmer referred to one another with silly nicknames like Sid and Ethel, underscoring the levity and comfort between them even post-breakup. During holidays, they spent time together with Cher's children without any lingering awkwardness from their former relationship. The pair continued attending one another's film premieres and Broadway performances in an ongoing display of support. And over the years, they routinely checked in and kept tabs on each other's lives. When Kilmer fell seriously ill with throat cancer, threatening both his health and his acting voice, he relied heavily on the steadfast Cher as a pillar of strength. Having witnessed the severity of his condition firsthand while caregiving Kilmer, Cher called him brave in his fight and recovery from the life-threatening disease. Despite his reliance on assisted speech, Kilmer selflessly helped Cher through her own personal losses, such as the deaths of Sonny Bono and Greg Allman, with his trademark brand of humor and empathy. In 2021, Kilmer made the difficult choice to allow cameras to document his physical transformation and emotional journey for the film Val. After initially avoiding watching the intensely vulnerable documentary at first, Cher worked up the courage and was awestruck by her dear friend's courage and artistic integrity. She said Kilmer's willingness to showcase his raw, authentic self, even at his worst moments, encapsulated his essence as a groundbreaking artist and a beautiful soul. Other Significant Relationships Cher's relationship with Tom Cruise, which began in the mid-80s, was a significant chapter in her romantic story. The relationship was marked by a deep connection despite the significant age difference and Cruise's rising status as a star. Cher has spoken out about the genuine care and affection they shared, emphasizing the respect and understanding that formed the foundation of their bond. Rob Camilletti Cher's romance with Rob Camilletti, a bagel baker and aspiring actor, began in 1986 and grabbed the media's attention. Despite public scrutiny and criticism over their age difference, Cher found solace and stability with Camilletti. The relationship was marked by a sense of normalcy and privacy that Cher often longed for in her turbulent life. Richie Sambora Cher's liaison with Richie Sambora, best known as the guitarist for Bon Jovi, was another notable relationship. While their time together was brief, she's acknowledged the passion and excitement that define the romance. In reflecting on the man who had passed through her glamorous life, Cher affirmatively named Val Kilmer as the one who fulfilled her on all levels – spiritual, intellectual, emotional, and physical. Now it's time to hear from you. What lessons can we learn from Cher's approach to love and relationships? Let us know in the comments section below.